The cerebellum, shown in this MRI, means little brain in Latin. The cerebellum integrates sensory inputs from the brain and spinal cord and uses it to coordinate smooth motor movements. It is important to know that people with disorders in the cerebellum have problems with which two things? Balance and coordination. So let's take a look at a patient. David, I want you to lift this leg as high as you can and bring that heel right on the kneecap. Right on the kneecap and run it down the shin. Okay, can you do that one more time? High up, right on the kneecap and run it down the shin bone. Okay, and, and I want you to use your heel like that and run it back up. Okay, just go down for me and back up on the shin bone. Okay, good. Now you note that in the video, the patient has a lack of smooth linear movement. Another way this is often tested in the hospital is with the finger to nose test. Again, due to the cerebellum's function in coordinating movement, it is difficult for patients to touch the doctor's finger and then touch their own nose. Here we are looking down at the superior surface of the cerebellum. It's almost as if you had cut away the entire cerebral cortex. You can see the tectonuclei of the midbrain here, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now the cerebellum's anatomic divisions include the midline vermis. This mediates truncal coordination the intermediate parts that mediate limb coordination, and the lateral parts that mediate voluntary motor planning of the extremities with the use of sensory information. The output from the cerebellar cortex is carried to the cerebellar nuclei via Purkinje cells. These are really important cell types that you hear about a lot in neuroscience. There are four nuclei in the cerebellum. The dentate nuclei receive input from the lateral cerebellar hemispheres. The emboliform and globose nuclei receive input from the intermediate hemispheres, and the fastigial nuclei receive input from the vermis. Okay, that was a lot, so I think it's time for a flash quiz. A patient presents with difficulty making coordinated movement with her right hand. A lesion is found in the cerebellum. In which hemisphere would it be found? Now this should be a pretty easy one based on what we discussed. Remember that the cerebellar hemisphere mediates motor movements on the ipsilateral side because the pathways cross twice. They cross once through the superior cerebellar peduncle and then again through the pyramidal decussation. This is where the corticospinal tract also decussates in the medulla.